In this video, we're going to go details about uh, uh, how to sketching a parabola. As the three main things that you must find for parabola will be vertex, focus, and directrix. Okay, let's start with an example. Uh, so it's it's easier for explain through example. So if you have uh, uh, let's say if you have x square uh, equals to four y. All right. Uh, if you look at this, x square equals to 4y so from this we have know that this is a parabola y you can see that if you rewrite this this will become x minus 0 square equals to 4 y minus 0 right uh, so where is a if you compare with this this is which type uh, this is the type where the x minus h square equals to 4p y minus with k uh, it's belong to this type so means that for this type, in the previous video, I have already explained it's either open upwards or open downwards, right? Uh, open upwards or open downwards. So the first thing that you should do is, first, you know the formula of the equation. And it's either open up, open down. We look at the sign, right? Uh, x squared equals to 4y, right? 4y. So it means that this is a positive, right? Uh, this is positive. So positive surely tell you that it is open downwards and not open downwards uh, it's open upwards and not open downwards so then you have know that if you have open upwards uh, if you open upwards it will definitely have vertex uh, vertex you have focus and you have a directrix uh, you have a directrix okay i rewrite again so the distance from the vertex to the direct the focus is P and from the vertex to the line directly is also P which is the focal length right focal length so how to based on this equation we can get all the important information there the first thing is vertex uh, go for vertex the first one vertex so vertex here will be 0 x uh, 0 so y minus 0 so h and k will be 0 right uh, h and k will be 0 so the vertex is at origin uh, second, we're going to find the focus. If you want to find the focus, you have to compare uh, x my head, with 4p, right? 4p. Uh, so means that I can compare 4p equals to 4 uh, with this 4p equals to 4. So then I know that p equals to 1. Ah, the focal length is 1, 1 unit. And okay, later. Uh, the directrix, right? The directrix. Okay, I'm not going to find the directrix. I just need two information: vertex and focal length. Okay, later I teach you how to sketch the graph. All right, let's see how to sketch the graph with these two information. Very simple. It's a lot simple compared to ellipse. So, just okay. First, locate the vertex. Uh, the first one, vertex. Put the vertex first. Uh, the vertex is the origin, right? Uh, is origin so and you know that the graph is open upwards because here is positive right positive so you sketch directly you know that it is open upwards uh, secondly you know the shape right you know the vertex so the next will be you look at the value of p p is one right uh, so means from the vertex uh, from the vertex move up by one so it means that one so this is the focus right uh, I label this to be focus as I know that the focus have the coordinates of 0, 1. Right? Uh, so immediately after you know the focus, right? You know the focus, you can know the directrix. As the directrix is also equidistant from the vertex. So one unit, one unit, PP. So if one here also one means go down by one, negative one. Then you draw a line, right? Uh, then you draw a line and this line you have to name the line this is the horizontal line they're passing through y which is y equals to negative one and the name for this line is the directrix for this parabola right uh, directrix for this parabola so this is the shape of the graph uh, so you have focus you have vertex you have focus you have directrix all right so if i tell you before any point on the parabola if you draw from this point, any point, you draw from here to this focus, the distance from this, from this point to this focus, the distance is always same as the distance from this point from the 
uh, from this line, okay, a perpendicular line here. The distance is always the same. All right, uh, this is a properties of uh, parabola. All right, let's go for more example in this video. All right, let's continue with this second example. I will give many example for how to sketch a parabola if given a standard equation. All right, so that you can refer and you can act, uh, assume it as an exercise. So y square. Uh, so when you look at this, one of it got square. Right? It's not like circle, circle or ellipse, both will be square, right? Uh, but this is one of it will be square. So for this, this is a parabola, right? It's a parabola. So if you compare this, uh, this is a type, uh, which is type B, which is y minus k square equals to 4p x minus h, right? Uh, so some will be x minus k square, y minus k. And for this will be y minus k square x minus h. So one this thing is square, right? Is square. So the y is square. So means that it's either open to the right or open to the left, right? If the p is positive, it's open to the right. If p is negative, it's open to the left, right? So again, you try to observe the equation. So you can rewrite this equation uh, in the form of uh, y minus zero square equals to sixteen x plus 1, right? Uh, so, the first thing that you should do will be, uh, you identify, you look at this, which type is this, right? First, you identify uh, this formula is belong to this type of formula, right? So, it's either it's open to the right or open to the left. So, next, we look at the sign, right? The sign here. So, 16. Uh, 16. So, if you calculate, if you compare with this, uh, you were getting a positive number, right? Uh, as it's positive, so definitely it's not this, uh, but this, right? Uh, which is open to the right, alright? Uh, open to the right. If you open to the right, definitely the focus will be inside the parabola. Okay, there is an axis here, uh, the axis of the uh, parabola, and there is a vertex, there is a focus, and there is a vertical directrix. So let's look at this. Uh, how to do this? First thing, the same thing. What is your vertex? Uh, be careful while you're finding the vertex because uh, this is a y value and this is the x value. x plus 1. So if this is x plus 1, plus 1 will turn to be negative 1. Just change the sign. Okay, the shortcut of, uh, of sketching the parabola. So if minus, uh, the this will be 0, right? Uh, so the vertex will be negative 1, 0. And secondly, you find the value of p uh, by comparing y minus k square equals to 4p x minus h so and 16 will become your 4p so from here you can find the focal length which is equals to 4 right uh, with these two information is enough for you to sketching a uh, complete parabola all right let's sketch the graph so uh, if you Draw the axis, uh, you have the axis, x, y axis, origin. Uh, the first thing what you should do is for parabola, look at the vertex. Okay, look at the vertex. So negative 1, 0, right? Negative 1, 0, which is here, right? Uh, this is your vertex. So you understand your vertex will be negative 1, 0. And you know that because of y square right it's either open right or open left so open right because this is positive uh, so i very confident i sketch uh, it's open to the right okay uh, the first thing the shape after i locate the vertex and i wrote, draw the graph open to the right next look at the value of p p is 4 right p is 4 so means that distance from the vertex to the focus is 4 so you add 4, you take the negative 1 by plus 4, you are getting 3 in your mind, right? So uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, you will reach 3 as your focus, alright? Uh, then according here, your focus will be uh, 3, 0, right? Uh, 3, 0 will be your focus. And you have focus, you have vertex, and you need one more information, it's your directrix. Uh, directrix trick will be opposite side of focus all right uh, so if from vertex to here is four unit then from the vertex go to the left is also four unit so it means that you have to go to the left right so you have to negative uh, four right minus four it means that 
four units here so you get you will reach negative five right you are reaching negative five because negative one to negative five this one will be four units so i draw a vertical line and this vertical line is named as directrix so what's the name of this directrix which is a vertical line passing through x which is x equals to negative five all right uh, so we have complete the sketching of a parabola okay and the axis of this parabola is on the x-axis right uh, it's on the x-axis okay let's go for more examples uh, so that you have better understanding uh, about parabola in the next video all right uh, i'm going to do a separate video for you for a more a more question and you have choice of doing exercises and be, uh, and understand the video